WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for the mid-afternoon update here. Uh, by the way, I want to make a comment I'm, on the videos that I sent out yesterday. I mentioned that it would probably be the last video. Folks, I meant the last video for the day. The problem was Google was banning me because I sent out three of them, and it goes out to quite a few people. And they viewed it as spam, but they finally got it corrected. I'm a fully paid member of Google, unfortunately. But anyway, I did get that fixed, so I have no intentions of going anywhere. This show and TFNN and all the stuff that I do keeps me in the game, and by golly, that's the way I want to keep it. But uh, if you hear about it, it'll be over at the same time. So what I mean by that is when it's over, it's over, but it isn't near being over. Here's the E-mini S&P over the last eight or nine days. We had the high back here. On the 9th of March, let's try that again, Larry, on the 8th of uh, March, we came down. We made a beautiful ABCD. Today, you'll see right up to the 78% level. The number measured to 5176, and it got as high as 5175.75. So it's held up relatively well here uh, so far today. But it's still in a strong uptrend, of course, and we could easily go up and make another new high without too much trouble. Whether we do that or not, you know, remains to be seen. Now, hopefully our guest today will be Peter Lides of uh, Stock Market Cycles. Uh, whether Peter's going to be able to make it or not because of the volatility in these markets, he's a very active trader. And if he's busy, he won't be able to do it. But tomorrow, uh, we will have a Bob Miner and Bob's got a new book out, and he has some pretty good stuff that he's produced over the years. So you might want to take a look at that. He does a lot of work on patterns and, and Fibonacci and uh, some other things also. So that's what we're watching here. And we'll have a fun day today. We've got to look at a lot of things as we're having volatility everywhere. So far, so far, the strategies that we're looking at are doing pretty good. We had a really nice move uh, in the bonds. If you'll remember, we were talking about this Really neat pattern that we were seeing here in the bonds. That was that beautiful 135 pattern. If I can line it up right, there it is. And it's down quite a bit from that spot. So that was a perfect symmetrical pattern, folks. One, three, and five. 618, right on the money. So let's take a break here and we'll be right back. 877 927 6648. 